Now, parents are being advised to monitor their children's social media habits after police revealed that paedophiles are using live streaming to find, groom and abuse victims. Nearly 200 suspected paedophiles were arrested in just one week in October, and nearly a third of those cases involved some form of live streaming. Sky's Rebecca Williams reports. I love that one with the bug in the jar. Brett Bedner was killed in a sexual and sadistic attack. He'd been groomed online and lured to his killer's home. And his mum's now campaigning to raise awareness. Parents really need to be careful about what age their children might be using live streaming. Breck did use it in secondary school and they did use it with their gaming. It was a, a way of making it feel uh, like a more real atmosphere, like a virtual clubhouse. And his predator actually wouldn't show his face. In a police crackdown, 192 suspected paedophiles were arrested in just a week. Nearly a third of the cases were the most serious offences, including live streaming and grooming. But despite the increasing threat online, 58% of parents say they're unsure if internet security is strong enough. And 30% said they hadn't spoken to their child about web safety in the last month. What we have found is that a lot of times uh, child sex offenders will befriend victims online. Uh, once they have befriended them and gained their trust and confidence, they look to take them offline. Uh, they'll take them onto other platforms, other email addresses, and then eventually some of those will then try and meet with those individuals and commit their offences as contact abusers. Paedophile hunters have in recent years tried to target those grooming youngsters. And police are now warning parents that many children are being targeted by blackmailers who are forcing them to live stream abuse. Now, it's never been easier to use live streaming devices. It's so easy, in fact, that you do it at the touch of a button. Police are warning that paedophiles are now using live streaming sites. They're pretending that they're teenagers and they're encouraging their victims to share indecent images of themselves online. And, of course, those then get distributed worldwide. And there's now mounting pressure on many social media companies to take responsibility. Those people involved in streaming sites make hundreds of millions of pounds a year. And they say, well, our site is too big. There's too many people using it for us to properly moderate it. Well, then, if you can't properly moderate it, you shouldn't be able to commercially operate it. And that's as simple as that. I'm Sam. And I go online to try and abuse kids. Awareness videos like this one aim to promote safety online, but experts insist parents, teachers and healthcare professionals need to be better informed to help crack down on online grooming. Rebecca Williams, Sky News.